welcome back. Hello, guys. To welcome Crusader back. Crusader Kings 2. No. Also known as. This is EU4. This is EU4. Europa Universalis 4. That's right. The siege is almost complete. We got it. So, you actually, I want you to go home. Let's take this one. We'll do a separate piece. Let's see if we can actually do a separate piece. Oh, no, no, no. I can't do that. I have to do a piece with them. So I want this one and this one. And then I want you as a vassal. And that takes 46 and plus money. So 52. So it's too high probably for the war score. No, it's just... We need seven more reasons. This will happen very soon, I think. As soon as I siege down, Kanak is over. My manpower is... Um, we need 20,000 more men to reinforce. We're only getting 300 a month. So let's actually get this over here. That should help the siege a bit. This guy can go hang out in London. So I'm improving relations with um, Portugal and with uh, Switzerland. And I'm going to try to get this guy as a vassal. Holland, I have a claim on their land. So I might go to war with them one day. What, what the, they have 990 men inside, so supply shortage is another plus one. Wait, I need the cannon up there, don't I? Let's do this. Let's get... Um, let's go like this. G, consolidate, break off. Let's get the cannon. And I don't know. Four. Let's get it up there. Let's take this guy and let's go to the army and break off all the horsemen. put this guy back. Select this guy. He's going to go back to London. We don't need the horsemen. So 100% blockaded there. How do you tell? It's a level two, level 4, level 1, I guess. Okay, so Portugal is all done. Will this guy be my ally and they don't want to be yeah I'm in an offensive war so they won't help me understandable understandable let's look at my notices here I can have a new idea trade ideas I think I'm gonna do that it's January already I'm not gonna take up in my trade Trade efficiency plus 10%. There we go. So the next... Oh, I'm not gonna... What do you want? No. No, I want you as a vassal. That's my mission. Okay. Alright, so... Let's look at the peace offer that I had. Oh, they're going to accept it. Can I get more money from you now? I can. Anything else that I can get from you? Nope. We're done. <coughs> Excuse me. I got 10 prestige because I finished the mission. And Scotland is now my vassal. Let's improve relations with them. Um, we'll take a second here. Let's look at the next missions. Our manpower needs to recover. Rival of a rival. This is who? Sweden's opinion of England is at least 100. What do I get? Five prestige and 25 diplomatic power versus this one. Hmm. I'm going to take this one for now. Let's go improve with Sweden. Uh, improve relations. Although it might be nice to have them as an ally while I take Norway. I think Norway's their enemy. Okay, let's get you back home. And let's do uh, core and 
four. And I need to improve relations with you. Improve relations with Scotland. All right. There we go. I have Scotland as a vassal now. Yay. This one will make stability costs go down. What is this? No debate in Parliament. Let's see what we can debate now. It will increase tax by one. Let's see. Land attrition goes down. I'm looking for something that will help my army recover. Hmm. That'll make the Navy cheaper. That's probably a good idea. Let's do that. They want... lose. I'm not going to lose mercantilism. Inflation, I don't know. Mercantilism, nope. Oh, you want 12 military points, huh? You can have it. There you go. 60% chance. I guess that's what I need. Okay, let's go down here. G. Shift, consolidate again. All right, so we have 18,000 in the hole now. Let's see what the unrest is here. Unrest 14%, huh? Let's do this split. Okay, we're going to see if we can lower that unrest a little bit. I really don't want to raise autonomy too much there. This, I no longer want that castle. Let's destroy that castle. Okay. And this one, I don't know if we really need that one, but we have one, two, three, four. Let's see what the military power due to castles are. We have army tradition. So it's, the forts are giving us plus 0.55. Yeah. I don't really. Actually, I can probably repay the last loan there. There we go. Um, let's see, what can I build? Can I build? I think you need level 8 before you can build ports. Yeah. The barracks will increase manpower. By, oh, look at that. I'm definitely going to build one there for 750. And then I'll come back later and do all the 500s. Let's make the speed go a little bit faster here. Okay, one thing I need to check is my aggressive expansion. That's something that I've not been checking, and somebody reminded me that I need to do that. Coalition map mode. So how do I check their aggressive... Yeah, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, Scotland probably hates me the most. You just start thinking about a war with uh, Norway. Um, pause it. Okay. Lose 25 admin or gain 50 admin and have to fight in Oxfordshire. Let's go to Oxfordshire. Let's move this out of the way. Where is Oxfordshire? This one can go home. It shows people's opinion of me. France really, really hates me. Denmark doesn't like me. Norway's kind of neutral. Are you in Oxfordshire? And get that last guy in there and go for it. All right, I won. Actually, I need to put these guys up here. And the other one goes here. I suffered some attrition there, which is not good. So let's see how far I am in the hole now. Uh, 16,592. We lost an advisor. Hmm. 
reinforcement speed. So gain one stability or papal influence. I need the stability. This guy will give me two more military points, or one more military point a month. I think I'm going to go for him. And that might affect my budget. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Too many diplomatic relations. Switzerland has an alliance with me. Castile, Flanders, and Novgorod. So Flanders. You guys love me. I have no diplomats to send. We can improve with Scotland later. So you would like to have an alliance with me, I'm sure. And... Okay, so there are now our allies. 179. Need to improve my economy. How would I improve it even more? Offer military access. 189. There we go. So close. Let's try to improve relationship with them a little bit more. Yep. I can probably get them as a vassal here. Improve relationship with Flanders. See what happens. There we go. Wait, we can take Sweden? No. Switzerland, take you away. Oh, I could have used the one that I'm using to improve with him. They don't want to because they have negative 54 reasons because they have a better economy is that what i saw oh, let's see what if i can improve that here <sighs> so what development is 22 19 19 what is this So what? How do I get a better... I don't understand what it means by better economy. Economic base compared to the Flemish. So... I'm confused. Hmm. We need a rival. Burgundy? Burgundy, Denmark, France. I need to declare war on Denmark. Novgorod will help. I'm not ready for war. This is not ideal. I don't understand this. I need to look this up after this episode is over. But what does it mean that their economic base compared to them? I need to have a stronger military. That'll give me four points, I think. 51. I have to come up with 51 reasons. And it's the economic base thing that's the problem. Trade. Local trade power. Definitely build it here. You can build another one, huh? Let's see, nothing else really compares. There's plus 6.7 up here. That's in a different trade node, though, isn't it? What about, uh, what does this do? Workshop, production efficiency. Uh, my money's gone. What happened to my money? Oh, because I spent it already, huh?
5 prestige and 25 diplomatic power. Reclaim Normandy, conquer Nantes. Nantes, I think, is the property down here. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, I need that trade efficiency. So I'm going to lose the diplomatic power. Okay, so uh, reclaim Normandy. Nope. Cl conquer Nantes. Nope. Um, let's recover manpower. This is like the most boring mission ever. But I think it's important we do this. Speed it up even further. Is there any way to further increase manpower? My war exhaustion. Ah, it's dropping. Stability is good. I'm going to have these cores coming in very soon. Denmark is no longer a valid rival. Well, who can be my rally? My rival. Let's check this out. Rival, rival. It's Flanders. I can't have a valid rival, huh? This says I can increase this, but it's plus 30%. What does this mean? The economic... I guess my military is stronger now. Go for it. I don't care about inflation too much. Okay, we got Ulster and Connacht. Recall diplomat from Sweden. They would make a nice ally against Norway, but they're going to take all the property from Norway, and I don't want that. I have too many allies now. I wonder if I should... Sever ties with Novgorod. It might be useful later. Okay, so we can do a military idea. Yeah, I need to do the military idea. This one will get uh, garrison size plus 25%. This one will get us uh, n another merchant. Let's check the technology here, though. We should probably get to level 8 there so I can build forts. Did I just... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Trade map mode. So we have this one, this one, this one. That's eight ducats up there. 8.3. Let's just do this one. Transfer trade power. Okay, I have, let's do this. Okay, who do you like? You are allied with England and Oldenburg. Um, I can't go right now, I can go in a few minutes though. Oldenburg, where is Olden? That is Oldenburg, isn't it? So let's improve with you. So we'll make a little three-way alliance here. That's Oldenburg. Let's see, you are friends with Cologne, Flanders, and Utrecht. That Utrecht, that is Utrecht. Improve relations with you. So Flanders and Cologne, Flanders, and Utrecht. Where's Cologne? Is that Cologne? That is. And Cologne, you are allied with Alsace, Oldenburg, and Würzburg. Okay, and you only have allies with me and Oldenburg. And you love me, but I cannot ask you to be a vassal because the economic base and the military. So, I wish I knew what all that meant. There were 4,800 men in the hole. Let's lower military maintenance. Okay, my... Okay, let's see if I can get the technology now. No, it's still plus 20%. So I'm going to improve something. Nope, I'm going to do this one. Nope, this one. Missionary? Nope, no. Nope. Wait, core? Nope. Which one is it? Development. There we go. So Irishire. 
is the cheapest. Then these two guys. There. I'm probably spending way too much admin power, but it's going to be a while. There we go. We can't improve that anymore because it's unbalanced. Let's see if you still think I am underdeveloped. Well, 76 now. Yeah. Yeah. That's not helpful at all, is it? Well, we're at 20 minutes, and i got to figure out... Wait, is this still province and... They still have unrest, so I'm going to keep them there. I can build one more building. Let's build another building. Manpower. These are plus 500s. Yeah, let's do a plus 500. Let's do that one. Um, put a policy changes in order. So I'm going to lose 50 opinion with Flanders. I'm not going to lose points. So you don't like me anymore. That's okay. My aggressive expansion is super low with you. Uh, do I have any claims on your territory? I have a claim on that. I have a claim on that. What would it look like if I declared war on you? They are allied. There's a lesser partner unit with the Burgundy. Oh, good. Money's good. Let's build one more building and then I'll, then I'll absolutely end it this time. One more building. Land force limit plus one. A castle. I don't want a castle. Temple increases taxes. A workshop increases production. Let's see. Can I increase trade power? Let's not do that one. There's one more that gives me plus 500. There we go. This one has no autonomy. No autonomy. And of course, this one has zero autonomy. Yep. All right, thank you for watching this episode. I'm going to figure out how to make Flanders my vassal. I know there's a way. I just got to figure it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Take care and bye-bye.